Good afternoon, everybody, and a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. And this is the Cannondale ST400 with a new paint job on it. You guys remember this bike. It was the blue and black and all kinds of splattered colors on it. Well, now it's got one solid pearlescent white colorway on it. And I must admit, it came out beautiful. Now, disclaimer, she was a pain in the ass the rear derailleur hanger had to get straightened out and retap the front derailleur is an old clamp style and she was a pain in the ass to put back on um, other than that um, everything worked out good and i put one of those links in the chain so the chain will be a lot easier to take on and off um, she's every bit as old as the years she is she's in 1987 so you know, that's an older bike, and uh, I should have expected a few, uh, you know, a little bit of trouble, a little bit of fight from the old bike, and she gave it to me. But she came out beautiful. Um, she's definitely not something you go ride a long distance on. She's just something to admire and, and appreciate her age, and uh, it's a good old frame, man. It's a beautiful Cannondale frame. But, you know, it's an older bike, and you can't, unless you're going to retro mod it and put modern parts on it, if you're using the old parts, expect a battle. So uh, that's basically what it was. It was a battle. It was about, I don't know, about three hours of just getting it perfect, getting that front derailleur perfect, uh, getting that rear derailleur re-tapped on the dropout or on the, chain, on the derailleur hanger. You know, but other than that, she came out good. You can really tell the parts that aren't polished well, like the hubs. Um, I did put a polishing wax on them, but I forgot to wipe it off. So they're really, really dull. Uh, so I got to clean that up. Uh, the seat post came out beautiful. The, the nitto stem came out beautiful. Cranks came out okay. I couldn't get a lot of the the black marks off them but you know it came out okay front derailleur came out beautiful rear derailleur um I, I kept sanding it down so much i finally took the logo off it but the rear derailleur looks good see it's just a nice smooth alloy rear cage um bike overall looks beautiful guys um i had a head badge but it was campanola i forgot and there's nothing campy on this bike so obviously it doesn't have a hedge badge you know, and most people are going to know it's a, it's a Cannondale. An aficionado of Cannondale is going to know, hey, man, that's an old Cannondale, isn't it? Yes, it is. So uh, nothing is marked Cannondale on it. Uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> so I got to get something that says Cannondale on it. I do have my Super Day Rides 2015 sticker on it. Um, and that, that just looked good. I left the red tape because uh, it just blended in well with that bottle cage. Um, Lazine bottle cage side pull. Uh, only put one on it because kind of traditional for that era of time. We weren't running two bottle cages. So overall, I think it looks good. You guys tell me, what do you guys think of the old Cannondale? I think she came out pretty, uh, pretty cool. You guys let me know. Talk to you all soon.